Hey guys, this is Mike. I'm here to show you how to sync an iPod Nano. This is the third gen iPod Nano that can play video um, and, you know, music videos, TV shows, movies, and also movie rentals. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a simple one, two, three step. So uh, bear with me. This is the very first screen you're going to see when you plug in your iPod. It's going to ask you to name it, and it's going to ask you to sync everything automatically. I'm going to choose no, because I'm very picky about what goes on on my iPod. Here you're going to see the software version and the picture of the iPod that you're using. It's also going to show you uh, the update button, so you can uh, ask iTunes to search for updates for the iPod. And I'm just going to go click on music. And this, I'm actually going to sync all my music, but what you can do is you can actually select different playlists that you want to sync to your iPod. This is a very easy step, and I'm just going to sync all my music because it's very small. No movies. And here are my television shows. Now, television shows can take up a lot of space on your iPod, so I'm going to select, um, select certain television shows. I'm going to actually select the playlist that I'm going to do. I can even add and subtract from these playlists, so if I don't want uh, a certain car a certain show on that playlist, I can just take it away, and iTunes will update it automatically. Here I'm going to sync certain podcasts. Now, I don't want to sync all my podcasts, considering the fact that most of the podcasts are video also. They're mainly movie trailers or video podcasts, so most of which I've already watched, but I really like the one-up show, so I'm going to sync that, and just that for right now. Here I'm going to sync all my photos from iMovie, or iPhoto. Syncing, syncing all my photos is going to be a very long process because there's about a thousand of them. Here I'm going to sync all my contacts and my calendars from iCal. And here I'm going to sync all my games onto my iPod Nano. Uh, these are games that I bought from the iTunes store. iTunes uh, also does have downloadable games. As you can see, it's now syncing everything that I've done. It's It could take up to five minutes depending on how much content you actually load onto your iPod. But overall, it works flawlessly. Alright guys, so once you're done syncing your iPod, you can now play uh, all the music and the video that you uh, synced, and even play some games that you downloaded from uh, iTunes, or just play the games that came with the iPod itself. It's a very easy process. You can add whatever music you want, you can take away whatever music you want. It's very simple, and it's very easy to use. Uh, I do recommend uh, that everyone uses iTunes to sync their iPod, too. Um, thanks for watching.